Hello there and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Peter's Gaming Channel. El Nelly signs a new contract. We have signed him up to a another one year deal. That's correct, we have. Right, and so welcome back to the channel. Great boss. I'm really happy to see that to still see the value in what I could bring to the squad here. Thanks for sitting down and working. That's a new thing. You know you're high rated. Right, so welcome along to episode 11 of the Arsenal Career Mode. And we have three games to show you in this episode. We have Everton, Leeds and we have West Ham. After this episode, we're probably going to cut it down to two games. In fact, we have two cup games in the next episode. Because we'll also be dealing with transfers as well, which will take up time in the video. So yeah, January will be split into three uh, videos. But let's get going on this video. And we have been having a brilliant second half of the season. In fact, we are second in the league, which is... Oops. Which is fantastic. We got off to a really poor and slow start. And we've already lost four games, which is a bit terrible. But we made Man City lose their only game of the season. That one loss is to us. <clears throat> We're still 11 points behind Man City, though. So a chance of winning the league is probably not going to happen this season. But, you know, we embed the squad and we made the squad better. But we are in the top four and that's all that matters. We're in the top four by one point, though. So it's very close in the top four. Just Man City running away with it. Like they're probably going to do in real life. Although I hope they don't. Right now, let's get on to Arsenal versus Everton. We are at home. We're going to go to the standard lineup. We have been changing it to 4 4 2 sometimes. We're going to try the standard lineup and see how that goes. Otherwise, we might have to go to 4 4 2. And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium in North London. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary box, providing expert analysis, is Stuart Robson. And we have our stockings already. Can he take the chance? Yes, he can! Wow! From kick out! Saka is definitely becoming our high scorer. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Absolutely fantastic. Glad to see that we got Man United in the Cup game. Fuck, in the FA Cup. Oh my God, that's going to be horrible, isn't it? We'll have to play our strong team for that while we play our second team in there. I uh, guess I'll be in the Carabao Cup. For God's sake, we how are we going to win that? Were we at home or away? No idea. And he's in. Oh dear, a moment to forget all about, I think. Well, he has to do a lot better there. He's gone for power, but he's completely miscued it. What a genuine opportunity. God's sake. But it was squandered. Go kick. Just a minute. Alexander Zinchenko. Well, far from oh, that's not what I wanted to go to again. He's doing this again. Oh, no, no. Fantastic work to Fuck it out! That's an idiot! I'm go! What the hell was that? Oh my god, that was an idiot! I'm go! Well, there's been a 
Oh, not again. Thanks as always, Alex. Alexandra Zinchenko. Oh, good vision. He might be able to make it through. And it's gone Let's in. go. Arsenal. Will they be stopped from this position? Let's go, let's go, let's go. We're on the up. We're on the up. We're on the up. We're on the up. And it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And then the perfect finish from Jesus. He really does hit this with power. That's an excellent goal. Still here, and the ball is moving again. Well, from what I'm hearing, changing circumstances in the Newcastle match. Let's get the news from Alex. It's a goal for Newcastle. They're back level. It's 1-0 with 26 minutes played. Alex keeping us right up to date. And a corner kick for the referee's verdict. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, the stats don't lie. Arsenal had most of the possession and have used it really well today, particularly in the midfield areas. And I expect more of the same as the game goes on. Oh, that's right. And unusually, they don't have the ball on this occasion. This looks promising from Everton. But they dealt with the threat first. Oh, he's through here. And the ball is loose. Ah, the ball is loose. The ball is loose. And danger still. Oh, oh let's go. Off the keeper. As an own goal by the keeper. <laughs> own goal by the keeper. Well, here it is again. And quite clearly, that's an own goal. He's a bit unfortunate, really. Three goals without reply. And now passing it through. Oh, Everton come on. Winning back possession. Ducure. And that is going to be it for the first half. But it's Arsenal on top. What have you made of them? Well, as we highlighted, they look like a side who will score goals every time they go forward. Their front players have been so clever with their movement. This could turn into a rout in the second half. And back underway. No sugarcoating it. There was a big gulf between the sides in the first half. Will we see a response from Everton in the second? Arsenal get the advantage from the referee. Oh, a nice looking pass. And now can he keep calm? Let's go, Fournier! performance this. Four to the good now. Who was called in for my head at the beginning of the season when we did poorly? Yeah, this is what you wait, new manager. Takes time to bid in. Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. And what a clinical finish this is from Jesus. He hits it with such power. That's a good goal. Very good goal. Very good goal. Well done. Well done. Well, that's how to blunt the edge of the opposing attack. Well, there's been a change to the scoreline, I'm hearing, at the... And in with a real chance! Oh, what a save! Oh. That's a great save. Yes. 
Can he deliver it with accuracy? And the problem not completely solved. Martinelli. And using his body to good effect. Gets in the way once more. Well, just to point you in the right direction, we have more live action from... Oh, look the... out, Derek Charles here. Jaka! Jaka has messed it up. That is a long way off target. Time for a change then. Oh. Well, we never like cutting off Alex, but sometimes we have to do it for understandable reasons when things are happening. To confirm, Chelsea did score in that match, and it's now even Steven, 1 1. Oh, what an opportunity! Not out of the woods yet! Well, they can bring it out now. No. Jesus. No rain short now. Will be a goal kick. Mm. And they need to get tighter here, and he's broken free. Oh, goodness gracious me. Goodness gracious me. It certainly was on the second attempt. It was the first save that really stood out. That was a brilliant piece of goalkeeping. Chances on. Oh, there it is. Let's go. As you can see, they finish this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. Woohoo! Let's go! The outcome, surely they now have been removed. Partey's threaded pass and running in behind. We have smashed them! We have smashed them! Wow. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a really nice ball to put him through. The vision to set up the chance is outstanding, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, it's an out-and-out out pasting. 6-0. And news of a goal at the King Power Stadium. Alex Scott. Yeah, it's a second goal for Leicester City. They've pulled one back. Oh, wait a minute. Could be in here. And a goal <laughs> Just what they were hoping for. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. He doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. So they restart the game and only one team in it. Oh, this is looking promising. What? Why do these refs keep blowing when you're on attack for? Stupid game. Three points for them. What did you make of it all? Well, we talked about their ability to score goals at the top of the game. And... Time for a quick question. Thank you. For 
taking your time. Really appreciate. Oh, the England FA. Oh, the England FA. Can we store it anymore? I don't really want to be manager of England yet. I want to go for at least a couple of seasons without an international manager's job. So I think we'll probably reject that for now. Hopefully we will get offered the England job again. Yeah, I know. I'm turning down the England job. <gasps> oh, dear. Work harder. <laughs> Yeah, the England offer is going to expire in three days, so unfortunately, yeah. Just to, oh to God, let's go for the Leeds United versus Arsenal. Yeah, hopefully I'll get off of the England job again, hopefully. Well, what a game we have in store for you today. A little later the on in the career mode. And we're just moments away from kickoff time. Stay tuned for the live action. And here we are at the home of Leeds United since their formation back in 1919, Elland Road. I'm Derek Ray at the microphone, and joining me for match commentary is Stuart Robson. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Leeds United versus Arsenal. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. Oh, that was a bad pass. Rodrigo. It did look on for them, but not to be. A real opening now. Still a chance. And a sucker again, all by himself. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And then the strike from Saka. He never really looked like missing, did he? Brilliant finish. 14 goals in 20 matches for Saka. He's really turning into a star. Arsenal, other side in front. Attacking options appear plentiful. He has time to play it over. Could be. God's sake, another clean sheet gone. We're never going to get that five. Now they're level again. The lead lasted nearly minutes. We can keep a clean sheet at home. We can't keep a clean sheet away. Just look at the quality of the cross. It's inch perfect. And just look at that strike. He opens up his body and makes a really clean contact with the ball. A great finish. So in business once more on the back of that very important equaliser. 1-1. One, one. Could be. Oh, oh. Good you've got to say. Corner awarded to Arsenal. And there's the delivery. Why does it always go to the fucking keeper? Why is this fucking corners? This looks interesting. You take it away. He won the ball. Now can they counter clinically? Well, that break looks so uh, promising, but nothing coming from it. Let's just clarify the injury situation. Our man on the side of the pitch is Jeff Shreves. It's going to take us a while to see how bad this injury is because he got trodden on in that last challenge. So his foot is definitely a bit sore. Forgive me, Jeff. I have to interject. This is a chance, maybe. Gabriel Jesus. Let's go. And a goal. Just like that. The back in front.
Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So back underway at 2-1. Tight contest here. Rodrigo. Well, it really wasn't a great effort, was it? Really good challenge. Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. Well, he's gone into the referee's notebook. And he can't be surprised. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. Yeah. Plenty of support here. Teammates in the middle. Well, still an issue here. Can he do it? Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And there it is, the half-time whistle, thus bringing to an end the first half here at Elland Road. Well, it was enough. We're going to make a half-time substitution today. Let's take a bite Lenny. We're going to give Smith Rowe a little go there on the left wing. Arsenal with the lead going into this second half, but no room for complacency. And he's won the ball. Gelhardt. That's useful play. Big chance to get them on terms. Well, last gasp defending, but brilliant defending. Could be a chance to break here. And Leeds have God's a sake. And a friendly reminder that we have more action from the Premier League coming up. It's Leeds United taking on Brighton. Well, that should be a really good game between two entertaining teams in a great stadium. Chance to cross. And slipped through beautifully. Gabriel Jesus. Oh, come on, come on. To their advantage. Well, that would have put them in complete control. He should have scored there. Come on. Make the change now. Rodrigo Cooper is with Diego Llorente oh, yeah. running with the ball confidently but quick thinking defensively oh. well, we always enjoy bringing you live action on EA TV and Premier League action coming up it's Arsenal facing West Ham United oh god West Ham United the game Gabriel Jesus. Oh dear, not a great effort, was it? Well, it's how you had the game. I think that's the only game we have lost to in a while. Arsenal pushing forward with options available. He's in here. Oh, dealt with by the oh that's ridiculous. Aware of a threat, solving the problem. Oh, what an opportunity. And still a chance. Wow, oh, what the hell was that? But not far away at all. Well, he nearly caught the keeper out there. That was a really good attempt. Here it is now. Take him off of that. We'll change the two backs as well. A substitution. Good 
Good technique display. This could be it. And it is. Let's go. He's done it. Surely a case of game over. Well, here it is again. And the way they've been playing, that was always going to happen. They've certainly been piling on the pressure here. No shortage of goals on this match. 3-1. And we've entered the final five minutes. Rodrigo. And the challenge halts them in their tracks. Rodrigo. On to Jesus. Oh, big chance. It has to be, surely. It's still alive. Whoa, what was that? So there it is. All right, the there it is. We win another game. We're just winning, 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 winning. Around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? Well, Derek, it was fairly comfortable in the end because they were tactically superior, had better individuals, and were always a threat going forward. It was a really good performance and a good result as well. Well, one more game, one more game until the January transfer window, which will be starting in the next episode. Just a couple of questions for you. I don't think we'll stop winning for a while, it looks like it. Thanks. Thank you very much. Here we go then. One more game before the January transfer window opens. Offer with Jordan, as we have not heard back from you. Shame, but please do offer me the job again in the future. Thank you. Why is this with taking it on to a thinny with the only option to buy? Uh, no, I don't want a thinny with the option to buy. Also versus West Ham, West Ham, we lost to West Ham last time we played them. So yeah, we're going to be dealing with all that transfer stuff in the next episode and that's why there's only been two episodes and a warm welcome our venue for series this after this the Emirates Stadium in North London I'm Derek Ray and sitting alongside me ready to provide all the technical and tactical analysis is Stuart Robson and so the third one of the this Premier episode it is also versus Newcastle West Ham up against West Ham United well thanks Derek as always the scene is set we are at home this time so hopefully we can be this uh West Ham team. For a really exciting game. Jesus. Arsenal could be onto something. Gabriel Jesus. Wow, we always score like that. <laughs> the goal, the ideal way to start. West Ham get us moving again and a swift response required after the setback. Oh, this is looking promising. Not a particularly strong challenge. We're not going to concede. Oh, stop. It's my stop. And he's fired over the corner. Wow, these corners are so shit, even that, he catches, I mean, I'm happy, but I mean, what is this, every corner, catching, goalkeepers are bloody catching him. 
It's a goal for Nottingham Forest. That's oh, forgive me, Alex. What an opportunity here. And what a goal! Well, just look at this again. He's so hard to knock off the ball once he gets going. Of course the defending could be better, but that's a great individual goal. Great individual goal! Well done, yeah, yeah. Well, sincere apologies for having to cut you off just then, Alex. To confirm, Forrest did score in that game. They now lead by one goal to nil. And saved by the keeper. And taken short. Dangerous ball. Well, you can't really head them any better than that. But the goalkeeper was up to the task. The corner kicks keep on coming. Corner kick played in. And the conditions look pretty good for the counter-attack. Can they take advantage of the situation? Opportunity it is. Oh, he saved it. Oh, well, my God. The keeper. That's a really top-class save. And now the delivery. And following the clearance, it will be... I think that's probably why. Now I'm figuring out why, because look, it's been here over there. So you're going to move the corner to be a bit over there. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Spot on with that tackle. And good use of advantage. The referee allowing play to continue. Bukayo Saka. Arsenal did well to win back possession. Real chance. Oh, what? And a time for cool heads. Inching towards the interval, and it's going with home advantage. Stuart, as always, very keen to get your take. Well, from an attacking point of view, it's been a very good performance. I've really liked the way they've got the ball from back to front, then how the forwards have got away from their markers, and the speed of their attacks as well. It's been a really impressive first half. Well, news of a goal update on the Nottingham Forest game. Alex Scott? It's a goal from Manchester City. It's all even Stevens at 1-1. With... Now jumping in, because this is a chance. He just needs to stay level-headed there. Oh, oh wow. right out of the top drawer. Super stop. Fuck. Misfiring completely. Yeah, he's gone for power, but the contact was never right. It's a poor effort, really. Well, they've been getting the substitute ready, and now they will make the personnel change. Said Benrama. Well, totaling up all the stoppages, we'll have two additional minutes. Going to get a try. Oh, that's textbook goalkeeping. Can someone get on the end of this? And there we have it. The first half action. Half time, half time, half time. Let's have a look. Man, is really drawing. <laughs> So back underway here, and West Ham left with a real mountain to climb in the second half. Can they respond? And space for them here on the flank. That's a nice looking ball, and it wasn't quite as good as it looked when it left the boot. Right, Alex Scott is at the ready with an update because I've it's been a goal at the King Power Stadium. It's a goal for Leicester City. The goalkeeper will be looking at himself on that one. He was totally out of position, and it was an easy finish. They've pulled one back and now trail by one with 49 minutes played. Thanks for the update, Alex. Bodies forward, and the break looks on. Oh, in with a chance. And there is the Let's goal go. to make it a hat trick. Make it a hat trick!
Fantastic. Right, you know what I'm going to do now? I am going to take off Jesus. And I'm not going to have, bring on Enketi in case that's what you're doing. I'm going to bring on Smith Rowe. What I am going to do is move Martin. No, not all of that. Move Martinelli up front. Because he can play there. We should be winning this game. Need to give some of the players a little rest. So we've got a big game coming up. We've got a couple, we've got two cup games after this. Which will both be shown in the next episode along with some transfers. How did I get a free kick? What the hell happened there? Well, <laughs> way off target. Well, no wonder he's looking a bit sheepish. Really poor effort, you have to say. Fabio Vieira. How can he take them on and beat them? Chance to finish. Let's go. Vieira comes on and Vieira scores. Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> well, just look at the defending here. The keeper is left totally exposed. Oh, sorry, I didn't really show you that. Let's rewind it. Contest four nil. Can the owner of the blue car please return to your vehicle? Your oh, goodness! Shit, that was shit. Now, then, what's the referee going to do here? And there it is, a red card. And oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, so he's uh, bad for this match. Oh dear, he's bad for the next match then. I don't think we're going to play him anyway, he'll be the second team in the next match. And why well, it's not included in there, but oh well, there you go. These things happen. It is a decent looking attack here. Is this the moment? And it goes down as a missed opportunity from there. These wins happen. 15 minutes left for play. He's in behind. But we can still score. There's a stop score over 5 now. As you can see, the defending is all over the place. That's far too easy for the attackers. The goalkeeper's got absolutely no chance there. My goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. Gianluca Scamacca. And he's through here. And the ball is loose. Well, they couldn't do anything positive with the cross. Now, interesting developments in the Chelsea game. Let's hear all about it from Alex. Chances on. Will he? And a goal. Yes, he will. A celebratory moment. Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. 
real chance. Well, goodness me, into the goalkeeper's grateful grasp. Well, time just challenged magnificently. Oh, big opportunity. A smart stop here. There we go. Six down. Never creeps here at home. We can't give you a wave. Wow, there we go. fans around the world. What did you think of their performance as a whole? You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was... Jesus. Oh, Man City by and again, of course they did. Just a couple of questions for you. Have you decided what you do? Uh, we'll find a way. We've got a plenty of us to find a way. Right, and that is the end of this episode 11. Thank you so much for watching. Episode 12, we start the transfers. So make sure you join us in episode 12. Thank you so much for watching. See you again soon. Bye-bye.